If you're listening to this on YouTube, this episode is one week delayed. Up-to-date tech show but friendly episodes are on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or Google Podcasts. This is Hardware Sugar's Tech Show But Friendly Podcast and I'm Anton, your host. And as you can tell from my voice, I've been having a rough time of it. So last week I got COVID and I actually recovered from that quite quickly with very minor symptoms. But unfortunately, I got a bad cough. I, I think also as a result of the COVID. So now I'm negative already. No more COVID, but like I've lost my voice. The cough is a real pain in the ass. So this is going to be a short episode. And I do have to apologize for the poor sound quality. Last, or <laughs> rather the very gravely deeper tone of my voice. Because I'm really struggling with it right now. So last week I apologized for the poor audio quality. Because I was using my MH670 wireless headset instead of the usual Elgato Wave 1. So this week, I'm back now at my place, but my natural hardware, my, my vocal cords, my larynx isn't uh, up to snuff just yet. But the big news for this week is, for lack of a better word, like stunning fall from grace. And um, this mostly came about from the Gamers Nexus video where it detailed just how bad the problem was with the AMD, sorry, with the ASUS boards basically overclocking 7000 series AMD CPUs and the overclock is just too much for the board. It's so much so that you can fry both your board and your CPU. So that was sort of the first stage of the problem where the BIOS or the internal operating system of the motherboard was sending these very, well, I would say faulty, but I guess another word would be suicidal. <laughs> suicidal instructions, trying to cram in more juice, trying to cram in more voltage into the CPU to make it run faster beyond the safety tolerances of the hardware. So that was sort of like the first problem. And then the second problem was when they tried to address the issue with updated BIOS, the ASUS site was very clear that if you run this BIOS, this is a beta experimental BIOS and you're not covered by warranty. So I think that really ticked off a lot of customers when they were like, well, you're putting us between a rock and a hard place. We bought your product. We don't want you, we don't want to burn up our CPU using your product. And yet the instructions, the new software, the BIOS update, which came from your company, you won't even cover it under your warranty. So ASUS really had to backtrack. Now the current stand is that, yes, um, you know, all of these new BIOS updates are covered by our warranty. If you run, if you overclock your RAM, if you use this BIOS, all of that is still covered by warranty. And I do have to, I think a lot of credit goes to Gamers Nexus for really exploring in depth on the issue. I mean, I like ASUS as a company. The local reps here have been always good to us and straightforward and no BS basically. But the whoever came up with that decision that, oh, our beta BIOSes won't be covered under the warranty. Um, I think that was a really terrible decision. Especially, yun nga, nabili na namin yung hardware mo. And yet, and the fix which should come from you, you won't even cover it. So, that was pretty bad and but i don't think they would have covered it if not for the pub public backlash against them which stemmed from the gamers nexus video so props to gn for that j of j's two cents has also weighed in and said that he would no longer accept sponsorships from asus although to be honest i i felt that the timing of his video just seemed to kind of jump on the bandwagon a little bit and of course, I mean, you know, as a YouTube channel ourselves, we know how critically important sponsor sponsorships from big brands are. But the, you know, the way the video uh, discussed, like, oh, I got a board from Asus and the CPU socket was all, you know, uh, ripped up or, you know, broken or stuff. I mean, it seemed like kind of small fry and petty things. And then, uh, well, to be honest, I'm not, 
super. I'm, I'm not a big fan of Jay's two cents. I think he's always kind of grumpy. Well, props to him for taking a stand and not taking any more money from ASOS. Just seems a little suspect though the overall timing of the decision. Actually, we have done a build with uh, some of the ASOS motherboards in question. We recently did a 7950X3D build with a X670E ROG Crosshair Extreme or something like that. So definitely one of the boards that was being talked about. But so far, so good actually. We updated the BIOS and the customer has been underclocking it actually to get better performance in Warzone. And actually the performance has been quite significant. The performance boost. So we also have a stake in the game. I mean, we recommended this motherboard to the customer. We said that, you know, basically ROG is the best. I even gushed about the motherboard on stream. So definitely we're keeping abreast of the news. But again, even as mentioned by Gamers Nexus, this only impacts a small minority of users. Uh, as long as you're careful, you should be okay. Update your BIOS, make sure it's not pumping more voltage than it should. And again, not to blame any customers. I mean, most of this is really on the end of ASUS. But also just good to keep in mind that the internet thrives on gotcha moments and scandal moments and oh my god, I am so upset with you. What kind of brand are you kind of moment? So if you do want an ROG motherboard, I don't know if they're on discount now. But again, you know, we've done a build, we've done at least one build with the hardware specifically that's being called into question now. So far, so good. Just a little bit on the gaming side. NVIDIA apparently has discontinued production of the 3060Ti to make room for the upcoming 4060 and 4060Ti. Uh, sad to see it go. 3060Ti was pretty good value for money overall. Although we're still seeing a lot of 3060Ti's on the market. So even though production has stopped, I don't think it's going to be going away anytime soon. And lastly, also on gaming news, even though it's not PC gaming, Zelda Tears of the Kingdom recently came out and it's supposed to be super, super good. I actually have not played a Zelda game in a long, long time. Although I am one of the OG gamers who played Zelda on the NES and A Link to the Past on the SNES. So I'm kind of curious now about picking up a copy. Although I would have to steal my brother's Switch. Alright guys, I think my voice you know, just can't handle anymore. That's the latest news for this week. Um, don't forget that Hardware Sugar has a sale the entire month of May. Super, super cheap prices on CPUs, GPUs, and mobos. Like almost makadikit na sila dun sa dealer price. So if you've been waiting to pull the trigger on a new CPU, GPU, or mobo, do check out our prices. Thanks for lending me your ear. Have a great day whenever you're listening to this. And I hope my voice hasn't been too grating.